What's going on? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I have a new video. I'm going to show you how you can tell if your brake rotors are warped and why you would have that weird vibration in your steering wheel as you're driving because right here I got my 2012 Nissan Xterra and I decided to go with their last gold um, their gold rotors and I think it was a bad idea because this car, we actually had the original rotors and pads on it for about 232,000 miles and I'm not even kidding if I can find it I might take a picture of it I probably don't have it anymore but I actually have the original brake pad from Nissan um, and yeah it lasted 232,000 miles it actually wasn't even dead I just replaced it because it was getting it wasn't at 230 seconds so it would have actually passed it was at like 330 seconds which is like you should probably replace because eventually like you know in a year it probably was going to fail which is pretty ridiculous because this car sits mostly on the highway so that's how it lasted so long but I put on their gold class um, this is actually the second set of rotors I put on this car since 232,000 miles because I haven't gone with a nice <laughs> I haven't gone with a nice rotor and that's a dumb idea on my part because I I actually have the rotors over there up on that shelf um, those were like an advanced whatever they're basically it's not like it's not their cheapest one I know that there's like the GT ones that um, Duralast um, makes but I went with their gold class because the gold because that's like their that's like their premium and that's like the premium one from Avant so um, that's usually what they carry in stock like the their ultra ones they don't usually carry in stock I know for um AutoZone, they don't usually carry the GT stuff unless you have a very, very common car like a Honda Civic or a Honda Accord or a Toyota Camry or a Toyota Corolla. So, let me show you. So, if you can see right here, I'm going to try to pick it up on camera. See these ribs? These, you can literally see the ribs in it. And if you're, um, or the grooves, you can actually see these grooves. And if you run your finger across it, you can tell. Other way, and I found it kind of funny is you take this right here you take the backing plate and where the rotor and the backing plate sit I have the lug nut as tight as it goes on both sides let me just tighten this one down just so no one, can, you know, no one says anything but basically they're as far down as they go on both sides and as I move the rotor across the gap that I'm looking at is actually the one down here and what I was noticing is as I ran the rotor across, there was a bigger gap at the beginning, like where it normally sits. And then as it's warped, it comes very close to the backing plate. Like super uber close. Like maybe you could stick uh, two index cards in between. It's like that close. So that's like, uh. So uh, the rotor, because I noticed on this, when you're stopping, there is a very good vibration. And you stop and also when you're at higher speeds the higher you go in this car the steering wheel starts to really shake and I thought it was a strut and actually at one point it was the strut that was causing it um, but I did replace that got rid of it for a while but as these rotors have worn in and over time and I it's not like this car is getting this car does not get driven aggressively I'm not slamming on the brakes no one's running up to the stoplight, slamming on the brakes. This car is sitting on the highway 95% of the time. Um, so, that's another reason. Don't always go with, like, the store brand. Always go, if you can, always go OEM or go, go after, mar like, go after market, but go for a nice one. Like, EBC, I have, like, their rotors and their green stuff pads. Things stop phenomenal. They make a little bit of noise, but guess what? They didn't warp. And those I put under heavy load. Very, very heavy load. And I understand this is a this is a full this is a mid size SUV. Um, which I understand is bigger than, you know, you know, say a volt right behind us right here. Or something like that. But still, we didn't have these problems with the OEM rotors and pads. And actually, funny enough, Brembo is the one that actually makes the OEM rotor for the Xterra. Because when you go to buy it through Nissan, they're about a $90 rotor, and I asked why, and they were saying the builder of it is Brembo. I was like, oh. So, yeah. 
basically, you can tell because of the lips in it, and you can also tell this one is actually starting to get, um, I don't see any heat spots in it, but um, another way you can tell if your rotor is passed is if you get those heat spots, and they basically look like rust spots, but um, it's a discoloration of the rotor. It usually shows up as a almost like a black, bluish tint, and again, like I was saying, your, water, your rotor can have the lips in it, which means it's warped, or you can actually have a physical bend in it from side to side, and those are hard to tell. But that's why I was saying if you, when I was moving the rotor across and I saw it come closer in and further away as I moved the rotor across, I could tell that rotor is also warped directionally or you know across. So that's a great way to tell. If you like this video and you want more stuff like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.